Dr. Manoj, I am State Program Officer for Aikam Foundation. Um, Aikam Foundation uh, is an organization for child health and maternal health. Uh, we are here to support children from underprivileged background. Uh, we support them by providing medicines through medical through way of medical support, lab support, investigation support, treatment support, hospitalization support. So far, we have supported around 6,500 children. My role in ACOM is more of a more of a liaison person, more of a lobbying person. We have many projects uh, in relation in relation with uh, the government. Starting with NRHM, IMSA, NRHM is National Rural Health Ministry, uh, Rural Mission, and IMSA, Integrated Management of Neonatal and Childhood Illnesses. Uh, we work closely with the government in these areas, in especially in regards to child health. Uh, we have 640 nurses in SNCUs, in across Tamil Nadu, 64 SNCUs. What happens, there are issues, there are projects, we have many projects uh, in relation with uh, NRHM as I was mentioning. You need a person to uh, do interact with people, interact with officials, interact with the government officials. So basically one of my role is to lobby, lobby about ACOM to them and about our projects so that where, uh, so that to see where we can fit in, where are the gaps happening. So from the community, through our regional officers, we have 100 staff down direct payroll of ACOM Foundation today. Around Tamil Nadu, we have 16 regional officers taking care of the community. These regional officers are the champions of Ekam Foundation and they report to me. These 16 regional officers, uh, they are the link between the community and Ekam Foundation. Yeah. So, the problems they identify in the community, say in case, sir, in this particular essence, you know, if there is a lack of equipment support, there is lack of medicine support. Uh, how best we can work towards it. Or if there are many children, if we identify any uh, n number of children dying for because of a particular reason, mm. a particular cause, we make a research out of it. Because we believe through research you can bring in a temporary, you know, a, a permanent change rather than a temporary change. Mm. So we invest our time, we invest our resources on research, publishing research articles. We just started recently and uh, we are going to uh, invest our most of our resources time in research in a big way in the coming few months. Okay. So we uh, we make proposals, uh, finding out the gaps, and we mm. don't at no point we don't critique the government. There is nothing to critique about it. The government is doing some amazing things, especially Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu uh, is uh, the projects which are undertaken by Tamil Nadu is being recognized not only nationally but even internationally. Tamil Nadu has brought down uh, Tamil Nadu's. Uh, they are very good bureaucrats leading the team. Mm. So mm. leading. Uh, Handling, I mean, uh, handling top positions in uh, health departments. So they they are doing some amazing things. They are visiting these uh, SHUs, they are visiting these NBSUs, finding out the problems. And when we say them, okay, when we uh, talk to them, sir, this is the problem. How best they can help? How best they can help? This is our project. I think uh, we have partnered with the local community. We have a partnership with the the local NGOs, local volunteers. Mm -hmm. So we we can pull in all. We can we have parties with the self help groups, colleges, volunteers. So we can pull and pull them all, club them all together to for this project so that they take ownership of their community, mm -hmm. of their community hospital. So we propose them this and I basically lobby around. So meeting people, meeting experts, taking opinions, taking suggestions, taking feedback. So once everything is done, it usually takes time. Any project is usually takes time. We need to convince them. Most often we find uh, that uh, we were wrong in few things and they clarify those things. So we learn from them. Every day we learn uh, and I bring in information. Whatever happens from the community, I take to the people uh, on the top of the line. And they give me feedback and I uh, cascade it down to the uh, mm -hmm. down level. So this is basically what I do. And everything, all the projects that we do are to, uh, uh, we have few, uh, the DNA is to reduce IMR and MMR. The DNA of the Ecom Foundation is that. But we have few principles, we have few issues where we need for a sustainable solution. Hmm. For a sustainable solution of bringing down IMR and MMR, you need to strengthen the healthcare system. You need to empower the community with knowledge, with information, that this is what the government is doing. Why don't they avail it? Available. Most of them you will find that people from underprivileged backgrounds with uh, uh, less uh, knowledge, they feel like 
anything to do with government, we have to pay money. It's corrupt. No, it's not represent, it's not like that. Uh, many things.